What's scarier than a nuclear bomb? It's a short list, and right at the top is biological weapons. These are dangerous microorganisms or naturally produced toxins that are weaponized. There is evidence going back thousands of years of humans harnessing nature to cause chaos, destruction, and death. And I've come across some examples in my research that truly are ingenious, but also horrifying. Here are the three most unbelievable biological weapons, in my opinion, from throughout history. Number three catapulting corpses. It was 1346 and things were not looking good for the people of Kaffa. The walled city had been under siege on and off for three years, surrounded by the Mongol army. But then the Mongols started falling sick with a mysterious illness. The illness was bubonic plague caused by the bacterium Yersinia pestis. The hallmark of the disease was buboes, swollen lumps that would appear on the body. They would grow and grow, straining at the skin until eventually breaking open and leaking foul-smelling pus. The plague outbreak was a disaster for the Mongol army until they had a twisted idea. They gathered up the corpses of the fallen soldiers, loaded them into catapults, and sent them hurtling over the walls into the city of Kaffa. This is one of the first recorded instances of a biological weapon. At this point in history, people didn't yet know that plague was caused by bacteria, but they did have some sort of understanding that coming into contact with infected corpses could spread the disease. And that's exactly what happened. Soon after the corpses came flying over the walls into Kaffa, an outbreak occurred. According to one historical account, some people fled from Kaffa and brought plague with them to the rest of Europe. This led to the Black Death, the worst disease outbreak in history. For the next six years, bubonic plague swept through Europe, killing as much as one third of the population. But many historians think that this was a bit far-fetched and the catapulting corpses attack didn't lead to the Black Death. Nonetheless, it was pretty messed up. Number two rabies bullets. Skip ahead a few hundred years to 1650, and according to some historical accounts, Polish-Lithuanian General Kasimir Simeonovich did something truly horrible in a European battle. He fired shells containing the saliva of rabid dogs at enemy forces. Rabies is a really scary disease caused by the rabies virus. The virus usually hangs around in the saliva of animals like bats, squirrels, and dogs, but sometimes we can get infected if they bite us. Once the virus enters our body, it spreads to the central nervous system, the brain and the spinal cord. And there are two different kinds of rabies, furious and paralytic. I honestly don't know which one is worse. With the furious type, you become agitated and hyperactive. And there's also this horrific symptom called hydrophobia. So basically, whenever you go to take a drink of water or even think about taking a drink of water, your throat experiences these painful spasms. And that leads to an aversion towards water and you become very dehydrated. On the other hand, paralytic rabies involves a progressive ascending paralysis. That means, for example, if you get bitten on the leg, say here, then the paralysis extends up the leg, up the leg, up the leg until your whole leg is paralyzed and then the rest of your body too until you cannot move at all. And in both types of rabies, once you develop symptoms, there's almost a 100% chance that you will die. So yeah, rabies was weaponized on the battlefield. It is a bit strange because rabies kills people slowly. And I don't know how helpful that would be during a battle. And we don't have any records as to whether the rabies bullets actually worked. But nonetheless, it is a horrible, ingenious idea. And now it's time for number one, the most bizarre and disturbing example of biological warfare I've come across. And that's Operation Vegetarian during World War II. So during this war, the British wanted to gain an upper hand over the Germans. The plan was to drop linseed cake, a type of animal feed, out of planes onto the German countryside, and the grazing cattle would eat the cake. Doesn't sound bad, right? Just feeding some animals. Except they were actually lacing the linseed cake with Bacillus anthracis, the bacterium that causes the deadly disease anthrax. The scary thing is Bacillus anthracis can take on a dormant form called a spore and anthrax spores are highly resistant to temperature, dehydration, toxic chemicals, radiation, all these sorts of things. And they can remain viable in this dormant state for decades, possibly centuries. Then once the anthrax spores enter a more hospitable environment, they can quickly reactivate. Once inside our body, Bacillus anthracis can easily evade our immune system, spread to different areas and multiply. That means even if we take anthrax, antibiotics, we could die from infection. Operation Vegetarian would cause countless German cattle to get infected with anthrax, and if people ate those cattle too, 
they could get the infection. Also, it could cause long-term contamination of the soil in the countryside. But by the summer of 1944, when Operation Vegetarian was ready to be deployed, Allied troops were already advancing across Europe. So this biological warfare attack was not needed and it was canceled, but not before there was some serious harm done, which lasted decades. I've actually got a whole separate video on that. So watch it if you're interested. And that's my three most disturbing, most ingenious biological weapons. If you've got another example, let me know in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more weird and wacky science.